what is up guys? My name is Rhino and we're back for another video. So just the last video we did gameplay for this new pack that's currently in the item shop, this new bundle, the uh Knights at the Food Court. So we did an inspection and gameplay overview of all the items, the skins, back blinks, and the pickaxe testing. So now of course it's time to move on to the combo. So starting with Pico D Guyant, it's actually pronounced, I found out. So yeah. Me personally, I think this is a really, this is, I think this is one of the best packs we've ever gotten. And I might be getting carried away by this, but I really like this pack. I really like the idea of incorporating knights and as food skins, we need more knights in the game. And now we're getting more knights. It feels great. Even though we've gotten five the past week, these three, Scrap Knight Jewels and the Raptorian the Brave, I like all of them and I'm still up for more knights, you know, just don't overdo it. Don't give us another five more knights in the next update. Maybe wait next season, give us more knights, but I still think these look really cool, and this is one of the funnest packs as well. I think all the skins are great. Yes, they are a little bulky, and you're not going to see many sweats running them, but maybe in a way that's kind of a good thing, because for some people, sometimes when a sweat, when a skin becomes sweaty, now this is a big brain combo here. This is probably my favorite easily, because the green and the red... The gold on the bell isn't perfect with the yellow, but I think the biggest reason is because this is a taco skin, and this resembles the Taco Bell logo a lot. So, very big brain combo in my opinion there. Cape of Potassius. Um, so yeah, this is definitely one of the better packs we've gotten. Not that a lot of sweat's going to be using, which is kind of a good thing, because some people don't like using items that become sweaty. But I think they're really detailed. They've got really nice detail, a lot of character, and I think they're all significantly different. They've all got different types of armor, different types of clothing, different colors, and they're all back blings are different. One's got a shield, one's got a cape. I hate to say it, but this looks great on her, but you're not going to see Sweats running this skin, I don't think. And you've also got a uh, sword as a back bling and a pickaxe. You've got a sword mixed with a spatula, um, two pizza cutters, and a uh, taco made to an axe. So I think the way they've made the items as well. So when you've got this back bling, for example, it's basically a shield made of nachos, which is a very big brain idea, but not as big brain as the pickaxe, which I was incredibly impressed by. So yeah, these are some incredibly impressive and creative and fun items, and that's just what I like. It's nice to get items like this that are both like, that are both fun, but yet at the same time also really good, really detailed. And while not the most unique, it doesn't always have to be unique to be good. It can be fun if you know what I mean. So in terms of combos with this backlink, it was a bit hard because the green and red, there's not a real lot. Sometimes you might find the green to go with, but not the red, or the red, or vice versa. But I found a lot of Christmas skins it goes with. So even if maybe if um, um it goes well, well with the red feather, so this looks good. Eat mostly Christmas skin. So even like if you're not a fan of the idea of uh, wearing this kind of backlink on Christmas skins, because it's not really that Christmas-esque. I mean, maybe you could see this as something eaten on Christmas. I don't know. But still, uh, by Mexicans, I don't know. But, you know, but still, I think it looks really good. I can't deny how good it looks on a lot of these Christmas skins. And... It's still a great backlink, and I hate to say it looks amazing on Dynamo. It's got the colors there, and Mexican-themed skin, Mexican shield. And I like how the red leaves, or whatever they are around her arms, go well with those green leaves around the, uh, the, the plate of Nacho. So yeah, this is just some really impressive items, really fun items that... And these are the type of items I love, so I think I love this, I love this pack. This is definitely one of the best we've gotten in the game. I'm just saying. Okay, so now we're going to move on to the next skin for combos. We're going to do the Zarya the Cruel skin next. So we'll be right back. Right, now combos for Zarya the Cruel. So let's get to it. So yes, I did say in my gameplay video, this is my favorite skin in the pack. And I still quite stand by that. I think the colors on him, I love the uh, darker colors on him and the aggressive, more scarier vibe he's got going on. Um, and I love the detail on him. Yes, he is the bulkiest of them all, and the AES is quite bad, but I don't really care. I love the uh, detail on him. I love the orange outlines, his clothing, the chainmail on him, like we'll have a knight should have, and I love that kind of, uh, the green hair he's got above his helmet. I think that's really cool. Uh, this is a really good combo. So yeah, there's some pretty good combos here. Some orange back bling, some green, some silver, and maybe you could stretch a little bit of red on because of the front like on a back wing like this because you've got the green and red at the bottom and you can stretch a little bit of tan because of the pizzas around the boots which i really like so yeah overall man this is just a really fun just a really fun pack sure like they're not the most unique skins obviously but for what they are they've created 
these they've recreated these skins and turned them into something cooler than I could have ever imagined they could have been and it makes me more excited to get more night skins in the future and I think the idea like some people have been saying they would have rather just got other skins just normal non food skins reskin as knights and while maybe I do agree that in some extent I would like to see more night skins and we did basically get that we got a night skin for jewels um also some brown back ones look good because of the brown strap um but these ones like food skins some of the most unique and fun skins they also lead to a lot of possibilities and a lot of possibilities like these skins like this fun cool and aggressive and very well made and detailed night skins like these and that's why I love this pack and that's why this pack ultimately wins me over especially this skin and the tackle box right so the Zarian mantle so um, we have been getting quite a few capes one thing I will say is as much as I love this pack what another thing I love about it is how diverse the other items are the backlings and pickaxes so you got a shield for a uh, uh, back bling you got a uh, sword with pierce through a Durberger, and then you got a cape, and for the pickaxes, you got a sword, one pickaxe is one-handed, which is a sword, mixed with a spatula, you got a dual-wielded pickaxe, and you got a uh, normal axe that's made up of food, which is incredibly unique. Whereas this, I feel, is the least unique item. It's because, not just because it's a cape, and we've gotten a lot of capes, but the past, this season, we've been getting quite a few capes. We have this one, we got that Batman cape, the new Batman cape yesterday, and we also got that cape for the Scrap Knight Jewels. So I'm not saying it's a problem for Knight Skins. I can understand why they would be. But um, I'm just saying it's not as creative. And it's the only probably non-food related thing. Because there's not really any food on it. It's just a cape. But I do like the stitching on it. And I love the orange outlines. And I love how this looks really good on some of the Halloween skins. Like if you like how the uh, other back bling for the uh, Guy Aunt skin looks great on some Christmas skins. Then you'll love that this looks really good on her. I'd probably use this. Because I do like using capes on her. And I like how the thick jacket contemplates with that thick top part of the cape. Um, so if you love the other back bling for being able to go with Christmas skins, then you'll like this back bling for being able to go on Halloween skins. So, that's that. So let's move on to the third and final skin, which is Sir Burger. So we'll be right back. Now finally we have combos for the Sir Burger. Probably my favourite name on this pack, but probably my least favourite skin personally. But I still think it looks pretty good. So yeah, when it comes to these combos, they're all quite diverse, not just because they represent all foods, different types of armor, different colors, different detail. Um, you got this guy who's got the uh, armor with the um, the uh, the visor up, which I really like, and I really like the olive on top of his head. You got the tomato, Zarya, who has the hair, which I love, and you've got the, uh, um, the taco skin that has the chili on top of her head which I think is really cool so they've all got different levels of detail they're all very different and the fact that I would say beef boss is my favorite out of the normal beef boss is my favorite out of him tomato head and larder I hate the larder skin I can't stand that skin yet I love this other skin this re night this nightly re-edition of it I love so that shows how diverse they can be when it comes to something that may not seem as unique and overall, it's just an amazing pack. And that's another reason that won me over because of how detailed, how much effort these skins have been put into. Despite the fact that they are reskins, the amount of effort that they clearly put into them needs to be appreciated. And people shouldn't just look down on them because they're remakes. They're so much more than that, in my opinion. And I'm very happy to be getting night skins. And some great combos here. You've got more purple and brown here and some orange. While the other one, you had more... Uh, Per green and red and orange, uh, excuse me. And the other one, you had more Christmas themed color scheme. This looks good on all of them, to be honest, but this probably looks the best in this one because the orange eyes, the brown to go with the brown under his armpits, and the silver, that looks really good. And this looks great too because he's got a bit of purple on him. Right, so the beef steel blade. This blade is a monster. It's a. I haven't got that many combos here because um, either some of these combos are a bit funky or it's just one of those back wings you can put on anything because it's a. Durberger essentially with a blade through it. It's pretty sick. Yes, it is big and I said I don't typically use bulky backlings But this backling isn't really bulky to the point where it like gets in your way like a massive like bag or Heavy box on your back or something like that. And it's one of those backlings that's just It's as if I said that I don't like using bulky backlings and then Epic Games said all right That's let's add the biggest gigantic backling in the game and 
despite that, I love it. I think it's really cool. And this is just one of those backlinks you put on anything, but I just chose more. Um, I mean, if you can wear the Nachos backlink Christmas skins, why can't you wear this one on Christmas skins? I wanted to just pick skins that have a lot of colors on them or kind of match thematically, or if you have any of the other Beef Boss skins like Beef Boss and Sizzle, it'll go well in that. And of course the Beefy Jam style for the pajama skins. And onesie it'll go with well with too, but I forgot to equip her. But anyway, I was pretty much gonna wrap up this video for the combos of this pack. So if you guys enjoyed, let me know a like, comment, subscribe, tell me what you think of this pack. Do you love it? Do you hate it? Do, what did you think of these combos? What's your favorite skin in the pack? What's your least favorite? But until then guys, I'll catch you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.